All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Wrath Aeon of Rune. It is, it's an old school Rudy Tooting Gun and Shooty. I guess we got Rudy Tooty Gun and Shh, but that's fine. I'm going to be playing on normal. Anyway, so this is an old school shooter in, I'm going to say in the same vein as like Duke Nukem 3D, or I just ran up the stairs, so I'm a little out of breath. I really need to actually play the Ring Fit Adventure game to get fit. It will happen. I just bought it. Uh, but that's irrelevant. So anyway, old school textures, old school mechanics, some new school designs, and just absolutely rad gameplay. It's going to be a little weird at first. I don't really like the camera tilting when I move left and right, but whatever. Okay, so I've started with an arm blade. I can dash forward. Can I turn up the gamma just, just a smidge? This game's kind of dark. Uh, yeah, I can. Turn up by a bit. I'm gonna just turn up the gamma and the contrast. Just a bit. That should be better. That's a lot better. It doesn't quite catch the mood as well, but it's gonna be a lot easier for you guys to see and understand. Oh, right. Hold right mouse and release at the top of your jump. What does animation interpolation do for you? You know, I honestly have no idea. But yeah, I actually got my start in gaming with this sort of thing. Sort of. Uh, I used to play... Uh, not exactly this. I used to play freaking Chex Quest. That was my thing. Soul Tether. Artifact Inventory. Save your progress. Huh. Okay, so I can save when and where I want. Which is kind of cool. It's a limited use of... Oh, mouse sensitivity got... I... Oh, is it... No, that was just that sec... I have mouse acceleration on. I think it actually just kicked in, which is very strange. Controls? Uh, certainly shouldn't. I guess I'll turn it, uh, turn this back down. It's weird. The sensitivity on this is weird. Also, shift makes me walk. No, oh, that ain't gonna work. Okay, I don't know if I can cross any of these gaps. I can cross this one. For some shells. All right, cool. Tab to open the journal. Morning Veil, Arsenal, Bestiary, Manual. Oh, this is kind of cool. Secrets, relics, and time. I break these. Yes. Disgrace the dead. Who cares for these things? I will take ammo. Might still be a little loud. I'm gonna just keep futzing with things until we go. This is pretty much what always happens. Uh, let's see, put the Quake 1 setting on. I'm probably... I probably don't want most of those. Texture filter. Linear MIPS and linear. I don't know if that's what I'm looking for. There's something about a... Quake 1 setting on? I don't even I don't even see where that would be. Not on re resolution. Not on audio. I don't know where it is. Oh wait, was that was that uh, strafe tilting? Let's turn that off. Oh that that's gonna be much better. I don't really like strafe tilting. It's not really my my flavor. I'm sure a lot of people are used to that sort of thing, but yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, turning is going to be weird. I. Every once in a while, I turn faster than normal, which I think is the mouse acceleration kicking in hard, but I don't know. Okay. I wonder if you're one of the best gaming, uh, game-playing streamers out of all the ones who watch on YouTube and Twitch. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And now we're in some creepy swamp. Sort of swamp forest. I think I can swim. Do I hear chickens? I thought I heard chickens for a second. We've got these creepy portals, but I don't quite want to go in them yet. Just in case... Whoa! Yeah! So... The mouse acceleration just kicks in, so... Huh. That's really weird. Every once in a while, it will just take, like, a hard left turn, and I don't know why. I'm just gonna keep wandering around until we find something interesting or useful. Maybe? Maybe not! Uh, let's see. This is an old game or a new game made to look old? Definitely the latter. Hello, can I go in this? No, that's the one I can't go into. Okay, let's let's go back to the graveyard. I sometimes I really like to wander 
off and go wildly off script. But I probably shouldn't do that, especially the, for the first episode. I just want to look at this area because it's really cool. Uh, let's see. Turn animation interpolation off. All right. I'll turn that off. Hopefully that'll help. Uh, let's see. And yeah, maybe, maybe that'll help. Into the graves. Ish. Uh, let's see. So, yes, this is a game. It's Wrath Aeon of Rune. Just came out today. It's on Steam and Good Old Games. I got my copy through Good Old Games. They're nice enough to actually just have it through one of my key request sites. I think they offered me a copy, but I already had it, so I don't know. I also like to support Good Old Games when I can, because... Yeah, sure, it's not quite as... Nope, I still have that, like, super turning that just kicks in every once in a while. I don't know why. Um... I, I know... Uh, good old games isn't quite as good as uh oh animation interpolation is is what handles the uh the like melee attacks that doesn't solve my my mouse acceleration issues that just makes my uh that just makes my attacks look choppier which I don't really want okay so there are going to be secrets around here. There's going to be tons of stuff. Oh, I can break those. I should probably go around uh, defiling things for a while. Excuse me. Nope. And yes, I do apologize. This is a bit of a doom, gloom, and blood and gore kind of game. Uh, I know some people are not keen on that sort of thing, but I got to play a couple games in this general style every once in a while. Because like I said, I grew up with Chex Quest, which is like the most... What the? Yep, that was it again. I do- I honestly do not understand why it's happening, but sometimes I just, like, turn right back around. Can I break that? Perfect. I wonder if it's similar to Medieval, where it's th the 3D stuff are actually fancy sprites. I think in this case, they're full-on 3D. A medieval was just really fancy sprites. This one are, is closer to the Quake style, where it's- it's- Oh, god damn it! did I get turned around again? Let's see. Yeah, we could try mouth smo mouth smoothing because I've got the acceleration turned to minimum. Actually, mouth smoothing seems to make things better. We'll see if I just no, nope, it's still happening. Maybe it's the snow. Actually, is it the snow? No, it's not the snow. I give up. I'll diagnose it later. Hopefully, somebody else notices this and freaks out a little bit. But yeah, this is this is one hundred percent three D in the same vein as you know old Quake games. Uh, Medieval was pretty rad, but I like this style better. It just looks cooler. Neat thing is, uh, a lot of the enemies are actually procedurally destructible too. So you can actually, like, chop off legs and heads and a bunch of other things. And that's, yeah, that's neat. I'm just going to be reacting to the fact that I am Zippy Skidoo. I guess I could turn down my mouse sensitivity further, but that's going to feel really strange. I don't know. Hey, gun. Perfect. I'm gonna probably switch back to the arm blade, at least for a little bit longer. Give me your limbs. I believe I can line this up and go through multiple of these at once. Now, did I take that guy's head off and he's still coming after me? Man. I almost said zoinks there. I I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you've seen the, uh, the Scoob trailer, but I actually really, really adore the art style they went with. And I'm kind of looking forward to that. Okay, so let's go back to this game actually talking about it a little bit. Hello. Secrets. Secret discovered. I think that's armor, but I'm full up on armor, so it's not that helpful. Uh, let's see. Can I can I open this up? No, it doesn't look like I can open that up. Uh, let's see. So one thing about this game, every weapon has a primary attack and a secondary attack. Every single one of them. Uh, so the pistol, for example. Let's find something to shoot so I'm not just wasting my ammo. There we go. So I gotta shoot. And then I've got like a shotgun mode that will shoot more bullets. Obviously it fires three at a time. Ow. Uh, so not exactly the most ammo efficient. But if you can hit with all of them, it's probably worth it. I don't know. I think it's a solid system. I like games where you can only use one weapon at a time. But like, I think... Doom 2016 had the same system, and that felt incredibly good. Ow. I'm not going to be exactly on my A game here. 
But that'll be mostly fine. Let's just run around. Where's this guy that's shooting at me? Let's see. Well, there's one of them. I like the shotgun mode. Shot pistols are, are fun to play around with. Uh, let me get up here. There is stuff up there. I don't think I'm going to be able... To, there, there's another way to get around to that. Also, hello. There we go. A shotgun is the best ammo in any game. Uh, most of the time, there are a couple of games that I have found the shotgun to be kind of weak in. Like, I don't know. I've been playing some amount of Destiny recently-ish, and I've found myself to be kind of un... Unenthused? Oh. I can just, uh, slide, uh, slide slash those guys. That might actually just work better for me. At least currently. Excuse me. Please stop with that. Please stop. Cease with your shenanig shenanigans? Okay. Whoops. Ow. I'm trying to line up on my side slide slash. Leave me in peace. Okay, whatever. Uh, but yeah, trying to use the uh, shotgun in Destiny is kind of unsatisfying. Just mainly because the reload times are kind of painful. In this one, it's not so bad because you're not constantly just, like, fighting things. And the shotgun usually just one-shots whatever you're aiming at. But still. This shotgun's the best shotgun of any game. Oh, have you, uh... I guess... The game has been out for a few hours, so I guess I can understand uh, some people have been playing it. Let's see. I want that stuff. Not that I need it. I am not going to find nearly enough secrets here. Like, it's going to bother me a little bit, but I'll find a small handful. And, of course, there's no map button, so I just got to figure it out on my own. Well, that's okay. Alright. We came through here. We came through here. Came through a number of these places. I'm just gonna keep breaking the graves considering they got stuff in them. But yeah, the shotgun in this game definitely feels really, really good. It's got decent range on it, and yet yeah, it uh to shreds you says most of the most of the enemies that we come across. I think I have to go upstairs, because I'm not seeing anything else around here, and that's where I came from. What else we got here? Creepy. Oh, but that's on the other side. Considering I'm full up on ammo, I'm just gonna... Make friends. Ow. Yeah, if I hit him with the head, that one's not so ha uh, not so bad. Let's just switch back to the, the good old-fashioned boomstick. There we go. These guys are good at tracking their shots. I'm, I'm zipping around hoping to avoid. Maybe if I bunny hopped a bunch, we'd be okay. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, uh, let's see. So another soul tether. I should probably remember to save occasionally. Because I certainly aren't. Uh, I certainly am not doing so by my own volition. I don't think the game has an autosave feature. It might, but hard to say. The problem is, because it's a consumable resource, I'm almost going to just full elixir mode here. Which is bad. I, I don't know how many of you guys suffer from uh, elixir syndrome, but I specifically find it very difficult to use consumable items ever uh, whenever I'm playing a video game. Ow. It just... It just does not, like, factor in to, like, how I, I play and operate anything ever. It just feels weird. Oh, boy. Ah, shit. I have no idea what that... Hmm. I'm really curious what the uh, right click is on this shotgun. I haven't figured that one out yet. Well, we lost most of our armor. Let's wander around for a little bit, see what else we can find. Here's that shortcut. Yep. 
another soul tether. We get some friends. That's going to be very weird. Getting used to how you target in this game, but that's okay. All right. If I check. So, there are 12 more secrets in here. And... Huh. There's 12 more secrets and a relic that I have to find. I think I've cleared... No, we haven't cleared this place. Maybe? Okay, there's a, there's a little bit more than I give it credit for. I saw the uh, I saw the red portal show up, and I was like, oh, maybe we're done. The answer is no. But no, the red portal is these guys coming in. Okay, do we have any other foes? Or is this... That's an elevator, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't really trust elevators. Elevators kill people. I, I've seen it happen. Or, I mean, okay... Uh, that's embellishing it a little bit. It's gotta be something insane and whatnot. Hmm. Elevator boss and wow. <laughs> I would... I don't actually know... There are a couple of bosses I guess you fight on sort of elevators. Ooh. There's light behind this statue. Problem is, like, how do you get behind, like, any of these things? That might be a lighting issue, but still. What about a train train boss? No, you just suplex those. Easy peasy. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I don't see anything else around here. Yeah, there's a couple of things where the lighting is just weird. And I have no idea if that's a hint or just, uh, whatever. Hmm. Oh, well. You know what? Finding secrets is all well and good, but... There's no point if I'm going to spend, like, an entire, uh, the whole evening just hunting for secrets. I appreciate that sort of thing, but I don't actually think this game has any kind of upgrade system, so I'm just not going to bother. I was trying to be particularly... <coughs> Ow. I was trying to be... Whoa. Oh. Let's see. I was trying to be thorough on a previous one of these that I played. Specifically, the game was called Project Warlock. Which, you know, all things considered, pretty fantastic old school shooter. Uh, if you've heard of that one. I think that one... I don't know if that one's on Steam yet. I know it's on good old games because that's where I first played it. And it was an exclusive at the time. Might still be. Uh, but that one was pretty good. Except for after a certain point, it's, uh, it kind of went off the rails and stopped having secrets, and more per se, the whole progression system of the game became secrets. Which is really interesting to experience, but also like, oh boy, how the hell do you even like, go around that sort of thing? What the deuce? Do I scale this woman? I can't imagine I do. I assume I get on the rooftop somehow and jump for that. That seems important-ish. Okay, Warlock is is on Steam since a long time. All I all I know is just that I, you know, I played it when it first came out, and it was good old games only, which was a surprise to me at the time. Uh, but that one was pretty fantastic. But yeah, after a certain point, good luck actually finding your way through the levels because you actually had to find secrets to progress half the time, and oh boy, the exploration in that game just became nonsense really quickly. Uh, it was still fun, but it was just like, where am I going? What am I doing? How do I even get through here? And there was no real answer to that question apart from just like, Bleh. You shit. It's going to feel a bit weird without a double jump. Crap. And particularly strict aiming policies. I don't know. It'll be weird. Hey, that brings this back. Thank you. I think that's just another save point. 
I don't know if there's a maximum on these, but I should probably just save now. Seems like an appropriate time for it. Right before a big open area with who knows what the hell's out here. God damn. I honestly can't aim with this game. That's actually a bit of an issue. Yeah, I died. Uh So return to Soul Tether. Okay. So the problem is because of that like weird hitchy aiming thing that I'm dealing with. Uh what's happening is I try and go for a precision shot and either I don't aim or I over aim. And I think that's what mouth smoothing is supposed to be, but it's not working. The way it's supposed to. I'm gonna just turn off mouth smoothing. We'll just try and do it live. Because the mouth smoothing is actually like messing me up. Oh, yeah, friendly fire. That's convenient. Yeah, this is working a little bit better. Hey. I think it's actually supposed to be a Windows 10 issue from what I've heard. I've had this problem with a couple of games recently. I didn't do that. I do need some health soon, though. But we have killed... The greater majority of the enemies up against us. Whoa! Okay. What the... It happened twice. I think these guys also explode themselves on me, which is kind of annoying. I have not had any mouse issues with the good old games version. I mean, it could be any number of reasons why... Uh, why it is happening. Anywhere from... Yeah, a weird Windows 10 issue, something to do with how my computer's set up, something to do with who knows what, lots of things, really. I do appreciate that the enemies can can uh, kill each other. I mean, hell, it could just be an issue with my mouse itself, but too high a DPI. This is downright minimum. Okay, this is bare minimum, which at this point is actually too low. Maybe it won't have the super turning issue, but we'll see. No, it still has it, just less. Oh, I see. That's that's my save point. Cool. So that's still there. Oh, I'm not used to ha having to use big sweeping gestures to aim around. Wow, you take a lot of damage. Hmm. Something's up with this this motor. Looks like there's something below and my mouse. Oh, you know what? I think I might know what it is, actually. Okay. Let's see if that works. Um, I think one of the issues that I might have to deal with is that I have an absolutely insane amount of things plugged in. Uh... Plugged into my, my USB hub. And it's probably drawing too much power. It's just like... USB 3.0 isn't enough. For all of the data that's going through there. It seems like it's stopped being as choppy. So yeah, that might have actually been the solution. Haha! -ha! Uh, tech support is fun. Uh, but yeah, I just... Having a webcam, a keyboard, and a mouse plugged into the same... USB hub might not have actually been a good idea. I'll need to get a better hub at some point. But no, my mouse is nowhere close, close to, like, ridiculously high DPI. I just gotta remember that some games don't like that. No, it still does it. Damn it. Alright, whatever. At this point, I got nothing. Doesn't do as, as much, though. So let's, let's just wander around, make the most of it, and if it is a serious problem, I'll contact the devs and be like, Help, why is this happening to me? Yeah, there, there it is. Yeah, it just, like, it just, it just, what? Like, huh, that's very strange. It sucks for me a little bit because, like, I really do want to show, show this guy game, game off. I want to show this game off as best as I possibly can. Uh, yeah, I, I want to show it off as best as I possibly can. And ha running into, like, slight tech problems is just, like, kind of my worst nightmare whenever I'm starting a new game that I'm excited for. Because it's like, yeah, new game. Oh, wait, this is how I get up there. 
Uh, running into tech problems is just like, well, now what do I do? Okay. Well, butts. Okay. <laughs> Wonder you shouldn't plug 20 hubs into each other. I don't want to. It just happens. Okay. No, daisy chaining USB anything is not a good idea. That. Okay, so let's... We gotta get into this. Through that. What I need to do is go back to this blade. Okay, do this. Shoot! Man, that's actually going to be kind of really finicky and hard to get into. What the? Yeah, okay, that's that's probably not my hard drive, hardware at this point. Or if it is, I don't know. So I'm like barely moving and the character is just like, time to go on an adventure. Okay, let's, let's hold shift for a second because shift makes me move slower. Yep. There we go, got it. Secret discovered, life siphon. What is life siphon? Receive lifeblood from the slain. Okay, so that effectively means I just heal whenever I get a kill. That's, that works for me. Let's, let's finish this level off. I'll come back for secrets later. Uh, let's see, I haven't gone lower yet. Was it over here? No. We. Wow, that guy sniped me from all the way over there. Normally in these games, I try to try to actually like zip around and like bunny hop and like go fast and strafe uh, to avoid enemy shots. But those guys, those guys are ready for me. Okay, they weren't ready for me, but you know how you know what I mean. Boop. Okay, let's try that again. What do we have up here? We got steaks. We got not too much else. Man, I haven't had, had a steak in a long time. Then again, I generally shouldn't for my own health and benefits. Is there anything I can do with these, like, obelisk thing? Ow! Okay. Boy, this feels weird. So th this just loops back on where I've already been. We will go back. These guys are not stormtroopers. The interesting thing is stormtroopers are actually supposed to be super accurate. They're just under orders to not hit uh, any of the main rebel, uh, like any of the main rebel leaders immediately. Uh, at least for the first movie. I don't know. Well, no, actually, they were pretty accurate in everything else afterwards. Like they were pretty accurate in Hoth. Maybe not on Bespin. It's not where I need to go. I don't know. I'd love I'd love to see a breakdown of specifically how inaccurate the stormtroopers are or were and where specifically. Because I hear that argument a lot, but I don't actually believe that they're that that inaccurate. Except for on purpose. Okay. Well we found a bit of something. And this guy. And you. Nope. And you. There we go. Oh, we got a key. Which probably factors into that engine thing up here. That we found earlier. Good lord. This shotgun has some range on it. Like, I can blast a guy with a shotgun from, like half a zone away, and it works, and I don't know, maybe it is a me thing. I gotta mess around with my setup, clearly, before I play this game again, which is a bit of a shame, because I was actually hoping I could play a lot of this. Wait, no, I've already done this. We want to go find that pavilion with the engine in it. It's probably this one. There we go. Oh, I see. That was just a chest. That's what the key was for. A chest. 